And people living in Draper are cleaning up all of that flood damage, as we just mentioned from last night's storm. And ABC 4's Kayla Bagley spoke with several neighbors out surveying that damage today to see how much work they have ahead of them. It was a storm that shocked many. Some neighbors saying they've never seen one like that here before. They say that it turned the roads into rivers and seemed to come out of nowhere. It was a sleepless night for many Draper residents with all the heavy rainfall. Lightning just back to back consistently. Uh, loudest thunder I've ever heard. I've lived here my whole life. It was a pretty intense storm. The storm causing rushing waters, flooding homes, creating a sinkhole and impacting several roads. We saw that there was a river instead of being there. Video showing roads filled with water and debris. There was rocks all over the road. There was all the dirt was had washed down. It was it was crazy. It happened fast. City officials say there were about two inches of rain in less than an hour. Crews have been hard at work to remove rocks, mud, and other debris. Lindsay Reedy says she was nervous that her basement may have flooded, but luckily installed a sump pump months before, which she says prevented any damages. She and others today were taking a look at the aftermath from the storm. Draper City is coordinating with Salt Lake County Emergency Services as the focus now turns to cleanup. Reporting from Draper, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News.